Hello everyone, this is Ben Schaff with Level Up Tuts. Thanks for coming back and checking out some more of our free web developer tutorials on a wide variety of topics including HTML5, CSS3, Magento, WordPress, and like you're watching now, Expression Engine and many more. Um, before we continue on with this tutorial, I would l encourage everyone to please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter and check out our website now leveluptuts.com and on Twitter at leveluptuts. You can also follow me on Twitter at Ben Schaff. Alright, so we've done that. You've subscribed. You're ready to learn about Wigwam. So Wigwam is another add-on from Pixel and Tonic and what this does is what you're guessing and it's a WYSIWYG editor and in my opinion it's uh, one of the best or the best WYSIWYG editors for uh, Expression Engine. Um, and the reason why, and there are alternatives, and this one is paid, it is a paid product, $35 gets you it. Um, it's one of the reasons why I think it's the best is, for one, it's built on top of uh, CK Editor, which is this fantastic open source project. Um, it's highly customizable, add and remove particular functionalities, for example, the ability to add images or flash or whatever. We're going to go into that in a second. Um, but maybe um, also what sort of sets this apart from others is it's it's pretty, pretty well put together, very sexy. So let's go ahead and dig into this stuff. So, right. Um, where this picks up is, um, I'm assuming you've already bought, downloaded, uploaded and installed this module. We've done that before in previous and we don't need to see it again. And so once it's installed we go to add-ons to modules and on the very bottom we see Wigwam. So we'll go ahead and select that and on this screen is something you know typically you're gonna sort of fly right over this screen and in this video that's exactly what we're gonna do. Um, and so there's two screens for the for the Wigwam um, add-on, and we're currently in the settings. Let's hop over to the editor configurations, and this is where we're gonna really sort of dig in. Um, one thing that I should probably say and should have led with was why is a WYSIWYG important in the first place? And maybe this is obvious to you, but if you're new to Expression Engine and web development. Um, we could probably take the two seconds to explain it. So what a WYSIWYG editor is supposed to do is, uh, you know, gives your content managers, those are people that are interfacing with your website on a typically on a daily basis or, or less, I guess. Um, and, you know, it gives them a nice sort of, you know, what they, say, what they used to say is, you know, a Microsoft Word type of uh, graphical interface allows you to very easily add styling and links and imagery and embed video and you know whatever else uh, onto the screen and so you know that the reason why it's important is because a lot of people that are content managers don't necessarily have that same level of expertise as we do and it allows them to uh, manage the site as they need so um, we now know that's really important, so let's get into configuring this. When you first install um, the Wigwam module, there's two configurations already set up for you, out, uh, sort of out of the box, I guess. And um, we're going to dig into this, and I'm going to show you how to create a new one, which is super simple. But what a, what a configuration is is basically you just think of it as a set of features that are available to the, to a user. So, for example, um, as you might guess, the full, uh, by default, has uh, all of the function turned on. This would be a list of um, all the available options that you, that are, or all the options that are available to you, but not turned on. So, for example, I could drop this down here, and now you know, this is you know the the pool of of disabled items and right now it's a, a pool of one um, you'll notice that there's also this break you can sort of drop this wherever 
and it will you know push the buttons down this is sort of what you're paying for this is the level of configuration that I was talking about um, you could do this with just using like a CK editor but it's just it's a lot more difficult and Brandon and his crew over at Pixel and Tonic have done a great job of making this easy for any, uh, everybody so we've looked at the full a little bit I'm gonna hop back over to the basic and I've actually configured this a little bit and I'm just gonna dig a little bit deeper into this as well so what we're seeing here are your sort of your basic you know and, and advanced more advanced uh, buttons if you uh, are looking through these and don't recognize maybe some of these what you can do is you just hover over it it's gonna tell you um, you know after a couple ticks there and so I hovered over this one it tells me it's a block quote and then I can determine do I want my content editor to be able to do a block quote or not and you know you'll have to think about this as you know unique to each user and each even field um, and so you might say you know what I don't want that and the way that you turn this off uh, items off you just click on them and then they have a red line scroll through them and they go somewhat transparent uh, and then they are not available to the user when they are editing a piece of content so um, right so you may have for example and we'll set this one up this will be sort of a, a weird thing but you may have a custom field that you really only want the, uh, this individual to um, upload say or embed a, a video or something like that so what we can do we can create a new configuration we'll call it like you know video field or something and we don't want any of this stuff so we just drag it down you can just drop it anywhere down here and it sort of just goes to wherever it's supposed to go and then find the one for video in this case you know, I'm looking for this flash one now I have to drag up this whole long bar but then what I can do is I can um, sort of just like turn off the ones that I don't want so maybe I want them to be able to do just these two things okay uh, and then what I can do is I can come down here and hit submit so now I have three so uh, I have three different editors which again are uh, edit configurations which again are just think of them as um, you know separate pools of you know functionality and we're going to you could tie each one of these and uh, to custom fields so now let's do that so I'm gonna go under admin channel channel fields I'm gonna go ahead and under uh, I may have some junk in here from last time but anyway let's go under uh, page fields I'm gonna add a, a new field here just so we can see it and I have wigwam I'm gonna call it video embed if I scroll down I have the option here between editor configuration and defaults to the first one but then I can choose video field hit submit oh oops uh, I, oh yeah I already have something called video let's just say uh, video embed go let's do that sorry let's go ahead and do that save it that worked uh, let's look at the body this is also a wigwam field and this is using the basic editor okay so now what we'll be able to do is sort of compare so I'll say publish a page oh, I'm not even gonna fill this out but here we have the body and you can you can see this set of buttons All right and then if we look at the video embed we only have the those two buttons that I enabled so I can now hit you know this little this little media come over and uh, I guess I won't do this but then I could you know really easy and embed one of Scott or I's uh, videos and hit OK and submit so there you go that's the that's the basics of wigwam in the next video we're gonna go over some of the uh, advanced settings Thanks a lot for watching, and guys, don't forget, YouTube, subscribe, please. Thank you.